Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. We are currently looking at an L gate. Um, for those of you who are new to Stellaris, um, I won't spoil too much about this, but this is a special kind of uh, gateway wormhole technology that we can potentially discover and um, benefit from later in this game. Um, and it is part of the newly conquered territory. There are actually two L gates here. Um, there's one in this Zorakan black hole system that we were just looking at, and there is one in the XT81 singularity system that we were just looking at. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, when we create this new state of uh, Panixala, and we release them as a vassal, I think we will retain ownership over at least these two systems. Um, we will retain Favarian ownership of these systems because they are incredibly valuable and we want to have our hands on the L gates um, and not let control to the state that we're going to create. I think that's going to be make sense. Um, hopefully we will be able to research more about these L gates and find a way to travel through them and find out what lies on the other side. Um, anyways, that's what I was thinking. Um, today on our agenda is wrapping up this civil war and once we wrap up the civil war we will go ahead and uh we will continue to build um uh, outposts to claim some more territory here and then we will release panixala as a free state under the republic of favaria um hopefully we can get all this done um the reason i want to release it as a vassal and not hold on to the planets myself is because, well, micromanagement is just one of the less fun parts of this game, I'll say. Um, and uh, I think also as a role role playing, um, we're, we're not we didn't want to conquer these. I kind of want to see it as liberation more more so. So um, we are going to release them, but we are going to retain ownership of these two systems because they are they do have an incredible strategic importance, and we want to make sure that we are the ones benefiting from it. Um, all right, so taking a look at our planets, it looks like we have nothing to build on our planets. All of our planets are good for now. We will build accordingly as we need. We have two fleets. We have one in Hajim that is, oh, I see. We need to invade this planet. United Midfell Concordat. Okay. Um, hopefully they will take their army in. Or do we have our army on the way? Where's our transport fleet? Okay, our army is on the way. So we'll take Debux and then we'll take Hajim for them. And hopefully that will end the war. I don't know how quick they are to achieving war goals. Minus 45. Okay. Um, so maybe just taking even one of these planets will do the trick. We'll have to see. We have another fleet, of course, here. And I think we were in the process of researching battleships. Once we research battleships and get some new technologies, like I'd really like to get um, auto cannons, I think we will kind of revamp our fleets and rethink how our fleet composition is going to look. And um, we might even get a third fleet. Uh, I think having three, three fleets at this size might be prudent. Um, right, so let's go ahead, let's unpause the game and let's see where this goes. We can start by contacting the Shroud. It's a democratic ruler elector. It looks like our current commissary general is going to win a re-election. Interesting how the democracy in this the democracies in this game usually end up favoring the current president and just re-electing them over and over again. Alright. Let's uh, contact the Shroud. What does this say? This costs two thousand energy credits and five hundred zero. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but let's reach into the shroud. In the deeper regions of the shroud, a presence suddenly makes itself felt. Visitors, like us, a powerful psionic probe made by minds utterly alien to us as they are to the shroud. A faint image of massive, massive organic beings floating in some kind of thick, gaseous atmosphere while being attended by swarms of smaller creatures flicker briefly into existence as their psychic echo touches our own. All right. We can try to get a boon for increased research speed with a medium probability of success. Sure, let's try it. 
The powerful energies of the Shroud have flooded into the communal psionic link that is shared between all Voldari. A collective knowledge base that is shared telepathically between our scientists has been established, which will greatly increase the efficiency of their work. Alright. Research speed plus 20%. Fantastic. Fantastic news. Alright. So it looks like our construction ship has orders to build a starbase here and a starbase there. I think we will also... The Traxian Mercantile Union wants to pledge secret fealty to us. They want to join the Republic, because that's what I'm seeing. Um, where are the Traxian Mercantile Union? Are they somewhere close by? Could we potentially free them? In, uh... I think we need to get through... Yeah, they're a little bit distant. Um, who do they actually... Who do they actually owe allegiance to? They are a prospectorate under the Monarch Centralized Commonalities. Um, okay. So they are a vassal under the Monarch Centralized Commonalities. And what is our relationship with them? Okay. So I think we might deal with them later, but right now we have to deal with the Misfell Obliterators. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Planetary invasion begun. How's this planetary invasion going? Oh, this is going to be a big invasion. We might take some casualties. They have a lot of defenders. Yikes. Yeah, looks like we took a lot of casualties. Not ideal. End of the United Mythfell Concordat. The star nation formerly known as the United Mythfell Concordat has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. Okay. Victory. Alright. So here we are. Our allies. Our allies currently now have full control over their allotted territory. Let's go ahead and let's pull this fleet back to the south. We'll let this fleet just reside in the south. I think we'll have a southern fleet. I think we'll try to have an eastern fleet. And I think we'll try to have a northern fleet. And we can move them from one front to the other if we get engaged in a war. But I think we should have at least one fleet in uh, each region. So we will think about getting a third fleet once we get our battle battleship technology uh, researched. Looks like we can level up the governor of Panixala Prima. We can get unity from jobs. Sure. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and let's see to our sectors. I think we can go ahead and release Panixala as a vassal. So we will go ahead into our planets and sectors. This is the right territory that I want to give them. I don't want to give them Munamar. I don't want to give them Sasara. Those have been historically our systems. And Panix Alla Prima, create a vassal. Looks like we need to hire on some new governors. Let's actually see to that. Okay, create a vassal. Subject must have a name. Okay, we'll call it the State of Panixala. And we will create it with the species Panixala. Right? We don't want it to be Valdar because most of the population in here is Panixala. Okay. Okay. Looks like we can set what vassal agreement we want to have with them. Um, the state of Panixala, we will, we don't want to integrate them. We do want to give them restricted voting. Or do we want to give them limited diplomacy? Let's give them restricted vote voting. This means they get a vote, but they have to vote on our side every time. Um, expansion, um, expansion is permitted. Not that they have much place to expand to. 
They are going to have to join us in defensive wars. We will join them in defensive wars. I'm almost considered to turn this to offensive. We can have unified sensors. This is going to result in monthly loyalty from terms, negative 0 0.65. Can we change the type of vassal they are? They can be a prospectorium that gathers resources for us. They can be a bulwark that focuses on defense since they're so close to our borders. I wonder if it might be prudent to have them as a bulwark. Let's just see what the default terms for a bulwark vassal are. Integration prohibited, restricted um, voting, expansion permitted. Looks like we are contributing resources to them. I don't know if I like that. They obviously get defensive bonuses, but I think we're going to leave them just as a standard vassal. I know it might not be the best in terms of... Um, it might not be the best in terms of actually um, getting bonuses, but I think this is what we're going to do, okay? This is going to cost us 75 influence. Let's do it. The state of Panaxala. We did it. Alright, they are now our vassals. They are loyal, and we have increasing um, loyalty every turn. Great. Can we establish an embassy? Yes. Alright, let's unpause the game. Once we establish an embassy... Subjugation request. The Sandarin United Planet States, we are too weak to survive on our own. They want to become our subjects. Integration prohibited. Expansion regulated. Defensive. Restricted vote, voting. Defensive holding limit. Sure. They basically want to join as another state in the in the uh, Favarian Republic. That is okay. Okay, so now we have actually two subjects. We have the Sandrine United Planet States, and we have the state of Panaxala. The Republic grows. Um, with both of these, I think we're going to want to form a research agreement, right? We share our research with everybody in the in the Republic, and I think we want to form a commercial pact as well. Incoming transmission. Research agreement, yes. Construction complete. All right. How come we can't propose a research agreement? Oh, we need. Positive imp positive relations or 20 trust. Okay, once we get there, we will hopefully be able to get those agreements with this state as well. Um, all right, sounds great. The Republic has two new states. I wish I could rename this from the Sander and United Planet States to the state of, I don't know, what is their home world? The state of Balasea. All right, looks like our construction ship has successfully um, built this star base here. We're going to want to build these as well. System survey complete. Actually, we might just let them expand into Poru, but we definitely want the singularity. So let's actually, yeah, I mean, we have to prioritize these surveying. We will integrate this into the state as well once we get um, a connected pathway. Alright, um, how are our planets doing? We have unemployment on Fortalia. Fortalia obviously is a research world. We have four remote harvesting traps on this world as well. Looks like research and agriculture. Hmm. Since we're doing so well on agriculture, I think we will 
keep this focus on agriculture, but I think we want to build another city district and we can convert one of our um, energy districts into a city district. The reason I want to do this is I want to unlock these last building slots so we can build some more research labs. <clears throat> All right. System survey complete. Somebody had mentioned in the comments as well that... Oh, look at this. We have a potential um, archaeolo archaeological sites. Hidden Worlds, a crashed alien space station has been unearthed on Corin after being buried for many millennia. The masterful construction previously held a self-contained arthropoid civilization for millions. Their dead bodies have been preserved within the station, making exploration of the otherwise magnificent interior an eerie endeavor. Though the cause of their civilization's demise is not yet clear, the inhabitants perished suddenly, well before impact. Some died peacefully, clutching tiny idols, while others, bearing weapons, suffered violent trauma. Alright. Well, we might actually consider getting another science ship. Um, and we can use this science ship um, to go ahead and and excavate this site. I think we also need to see to our leaders. Um, so if we go to planets and sectors, we have three sectors, obviously. We have Fortalia, we have Corim. Corim is a forge world. We have a forge world, a factory world, and a mining world in this sector. So I think we want an industrialist. Um, so an official will probably be the best. We can get experience gain plus 10%, age 40, Two. We can get an age 36, which gives pop goat speed bonus. And our last option for an official is age 36, council agenda speed. This person is not necessarily going to be on our council. I say we take this person with the pop growth speed bonus. Okay. And we have, we need a new governor for, for, for Favaria. And Favaria has um, a tech world. Okay, Favaria has a little bit of everything. I think we are going to want a scientist to govern Favaria. Hmm. So we can get Edict Fund, Leader Lifespan plus 10 years. That's pretty good. Or we can get an archaeologist. I think we're going to get the archaeologist, but we're not going to assign this as a governor. I think we're gonna assign the other one as the governor. We're gonna use the archeologist to start uh, excavating that site over there. Um, so let's go ahead and let's assign this scientist. Yeah. No, let's get the leader lifespan plus 10 years. Okay, and we can give them a new trait. We can either extend their lifespan for plus 20 years, or we can give extra amenities in the district. Hmm. Or we can get Scrapper, Alloys for Metallurgists. So we get Celebrity. Some extra amenities is always nice. All right. And then I want to make sure we actually have a scientist governing every single tech world we have to get those bonuses. So we could actually hire on another scientist. Okay, fantastic. This scientist, we can give food from farmers? Sure. Farmer jobs plus two. Why not? Okay. Fantastic. We can upgrade this scientist that we're going to assign as our archaeologist. And we can give them archaeologist level two. Sure, why not? Planet in revolt. All right. Revolt on golden flower? Where's golden flower? It's in the Fear Mathrios system. Okay, um, what can we do for this revolt? We can either try to distribute amenities or institute a crackdown. Let's distribute amenities and see how that see how that works. We have we have a precinct. I think instead of robot assembly, we're gonna want to replace this with an. Ataklin Monument. And I think we're going to want to get some uh, hollow theaters here. Or maybe a gene clinics? 
yeah, gene clinics are going to be important. And then, yeah, we'll build hollow theaters just to get the amenities up and the habitability up. So hopefully they're happier. All right. Hopefully we can raise the stability up from 13%. I mean, we're going to give it away to the new state of Panaxala anyways. I'm almost tempted to declare war on the Sandoran Authority to claim a couple more systems from them. I'd like to declare war on the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor as well. Research complete. Um, and reclaim this full territory for the Sandoran Authority. Alright, we unlocked Plasma Accelerators. Fantastic. We can get hyperdrive level three. We can get zero point reactors. We can get detection arrays. Boring. We can get colony development speed. We don't really need that. Encryption plus two. I don't think the AI really relies on um, espionage too much. Um, it's between this and this. And um, I think I'll go ahead and take hyperdrive level three um, over the zero point reactor. No, actually, let's get the zero point reactor. This will let us create more powerful ships. And I don't think the hyperdrive is all that big of a deal. It just lets us kind of travel from system to system a little faster. And right now we're already moving pretty fast. I mean, you can see not only are our fleets moving pretty fast, but once they need to power up the hyperdrive, I think it only takes like a few days. Engineering insights. Recent advancements in our ship designs have led to an insight on how to upgrade our flagship to make use of previously unused systems. Okay, we can upgrade the flagship. Conglomerated Scrappers. We've been hearing rumors about impressive Favarian Republic for a while now, and we're pleased to make your acquaintance. For a nominal contribution of credits, we of the Conglomerated Scrappers offer premium salvager services. From engine upgrades to scrapping fleets, whatever your needs, you can count on us. And to ensure that we start off your good graces, how about a small gift to show our commitment to customer service? All right, 2,000 alloys for free. Not that we're really in need of alloys at this moment, but we'll take it. Let's go ahead and let's build an outpost here. It's gonna cost us a lot of influence, yes, because it's not directly bordering us, but we wanna make sure we maintain ownership and direct control over this system. All right, so there we go, we got battleships. Next, we can get level three missiles. That's probably not a bad idea. We can get better flat cannons. We can get destroyer build costs and destroyer build speed. That's boring. We can get exotic gas refineries. Boring. Let's get better missiles. All right, let's do it. Level up from our commissary general. We can get monthly unity plus 5% and governing eth ethics attraction plus 35%. That's fantastic. Okay. Research complete. Research complete. Fleet command limit plus 20. We can get starbase capacity plus two. I think that's probably going to be our next move. Yeah, 100%. We really need more um more star bases we're already at our limit here and i would like to have a star base in every system that has a planet unrest on good authority the disturbance on golden flower have propelled a new narrative in the foremost of the colony's political stage one of populist strongmen and order at the expense of freedom they are taking prominent role in the unrest that continues to escalate on the planet authoritarian ethics attraction plus 100 percent not good, not good at all. Though, we are building more buildings that'll hopefully see to their unrest. All right, well, we can go ahead and take a new tradition. We can get ship upkeep and naval capacity up. We get ship build speed plus 25%. Let's up our naval capacity. Might as well.
All right, do we have enough trust Council or good relations ready. to propose a commercial pact or a research agreement with them yet? No, we do not. Low stability, yes. Council agenda ready, okay. This will give us specialist pop resource output plus 5% and extra resources from jobs on Favaria. Wow, that's really good. All right. Um, mind over matter gives us bonus in telepathy plus 25 percent we might as well i mean as opposed to anything else i think that's probably one of our best options we could just take the straight happiness plus four percent plus ten percent uh, let's get telepathy plus 25 percent might as well Right, fantastic. We can pick a new research. No, I think for some reason it canceled this research that it was currently working on. Seems like, can I transfer any systems? I can transfer Sasara and Unimar because those are adjacent. I wonder if we keep claim a claim over this system if we are going to be able to transfer them the rest of these systems and it might not be the case because the system is a bottleneck we might have to end up conceding the system so we can grant this over the, to them as well I'd rather have one s strong state with multiple planets than multiple weaker states unrest Organized resistance rebellious elements on golden flower now form an increasingly organized resistance led by an elusive cater of it's the Poranian descendants. Dissidents. Alright. This is getting out of hand. Let's look at the population. Let's prioritize enforcer jobs. Okay. Fantastic. We can probably deprioritize minor jobs. Can we do that? I don't think we can. But now that we prioritize enforcer jobs, what does the stability look like? Still just 16%? Really? Alright. Our scientist, who is surveying right now, can take perfectionist survey speed. Uh, I don't think we can discover any new anomalies in these systems because they've already been surveyed once. So we don't need perfectionists because they're not going to discover any anomalies. So we can take survey speed plus 20%. Sure. That'll just make them quicker. Construction complete. Okay. So next we're going to go ahead and claim Venus. And looks like we can upgrade Forfion. Um, actually, somebody had mentioned that there is a restore Equinop ecumenopolis decision here um it's going to cost us 200 influence which we have and 20,000 minerals i don't think i've ever built an ecumenopolis increased increasing housing resource production and pop growth and unlocking special districts okay i need to clear all blockers so why don't we clear this blocker? Why don't we increase the amount of jobs here as well? Um, we could probably build... Um, yeah, we can probably build chemical plants. So crystal mines, gas extraction wells, and moat harvesting traps. Um, what do we actually need? What are we not producing a lot of? We're producing six crystals, four exotic gases, and we have more moats than we'll ever know what to do with. So let's get gas gases right now. Um, here, where is the gas extraction wells? Here are the gas extraction wells. Sure. We've got a couple of these. Fantastic. We're full up on consumer goods. All right, let's sell a whole bunch. We can buy a bunch of minerals, since we know we're going to need those minerals for the Ecumenopolis. And we unlocked antimatter missiles. We can get citadels. We can get quantum missiles. 
We can get alloy mega forges. Let's get alloy mega forges. Boost our alloy production. I mean, we already our alloy production is already fantastic. I don't really think we need much more alloys than we already have, but hey. System survey complete. More is always good. Okay, we'll go ahead and build an outpost on Venus. Fantastic. Are our borders not open? Let's open our borders to them, for sure. I think we could build a holding on their capital as well. Let's build a holding here on Panic Sala Prima. See what our options are. We can build an Emporium for trading. This is going to give us a bunch of energy for us and it's going to give them amenities. Okay, we can build a Ministry of Truth. Space this doesn't seem very encounter. egalitarian. I don't know about that one. We can build an Orbital Assembly Complex. Increases the effects of modules on the planet's orbital ring. They don't have an complete. orbital ring. We can build a satellite campus. This will produce us science and produce them science. Sure. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Build a satellite campus. I'm sure they'll love that. All right. Um, you know what we've been neglecting? The Bernathi awakened psy psionic abilities. Okay. Looks like there's a lot of psionics in the galaxy. This scientist, we are going to assign our archaeologist. And we are going to send them into... Oh, we're already in the right system. Let's go ahead, go to Corium, and let's uncover this alien space station that's been crashed. Crashed on the planet. Unrest terror. After a period of mounting tension, the unrest on Golden Flower has resulted in terrorist action. Governing ethics attraction minus 33%. What's it going to take to get this planet in line? wonder if we could assign one of our commanders. Yeah, level 5. Maybe he can restore some order to this planet. We can upgrade our precinct houses. I think that'll be good. It'll increase stability a bit more. We could use some soldiers as well. Incoming transmission. Commercial pact from the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor? No, we don't like you anymore. Um, they are no longer they are no longer our friends. Okay, uh we might wanna also Oh we can upgrade our flagship as well. I think we will take our scientists or is that a construction ship job? That's a construction ship job. Let's do it. We're full up on alloys? I never thought I'd see the day. Well, might as well sell a whole bunch. Oh, now we're full up on energy. Are there like rare resources that we could be buying a whole lot of? They'll probably buy a whole bunch of zero. I don't actually know if it's pronounced zero or zero. It might be zero. All right, our agri world. We can upgrade. What do we actually want to do here? I think we were going to build research labs here and we were going to convert these energy districts into city districts. Yeah. Let's go ahead and finish that. It's got eight amenities. We might need to build a um, Research complete. Hollow theaters there as well, so we can get enough amenities. But we'll see. Ah, we can finally get auto cannons. I think we will. I think auto cannons are going to be good because what we want in our fleets are basically specialization. We want ships, and I, I think corvettes are going to be good for this that specialize in just stripping the shields. And then we want ships, like heavier hitting ships, that I think specialize in um, hull and armor damage as well. Specialization is going to be key for making our um, fleet more efficient. We have unemployment on our tech world. Um, I think we build 
another research labs and um, I think we build another energy district generator district on level core joy tender our factory world coming transmissions full up it's okay we'll build another industrial district they want to invite us into their Federation no we won't play friendly with them any longer I think we have to consider gearing up for war and I think our war might be against either the Mythfell Obliterators or the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor. I'm tempted to go against the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor and take back these systems and give it to our allies. Unrest, revolt on gold and flower. Um, okay. They're rising up in resistance. This is an act of war. War has been declared against us. Guys, we're at war again, already. Good thing they're pretty weak. We just need to get air, our army up here. We need to get our fleet up here. We probably want to get our scientists out of the way. Yeah, we probably want to get our scientists out of the way. Let's move our scientists um, back here. That's probably fine. All right. How quickly can our fleet get Construction into complete. the uh, action zone? Here we go. Good thing we have this relay network set up. Who's claiming our systems? The Stara Panoran Hegemony. Ah. Okay, those are the people we're declaring war against. Let's move our construction ship out of the way too. We don't want them to get harmed. Caught in the cross, uh, caught in the crossfire, so to speak. All right. So, have our allies have our allies actually joined the war? The Sander and United Planet States have joined the war. How come the state of um, Panaxala has not joined the war? What are their their agreement? I thought that we had. Oh, we have only a offensive. I really wanted all. Okay, we're gonna have to change that. Yeah, we're gonna have to change that. The Senate is in session. Cooperative research channels. Okay, and we're gonna oppose most of this. So military sanctions, borderless authority. Subjects have a 50% ethics attraction towards their overlords fanatic. In independent censors is no longer a valid term. Oppose. Minor research sanctions, more administrative sanctions. No, we don't want any of this stuff. Yeah, no regulation. Let's repeal stuff. We will vote yes on repeal stuff. Oppose. All right, fantastic. How are we doing in terms of diplomatic weight as well? Okay, we're in the top six. Um, I'd like to see us in the top five, but oh well, you know, what can you do? All right, they have some powerful fleets. It might be worth moving two fleets up here. I didn't actually think we would need both Incoming fleets, but transmission. two, a 20,000 and a 13,000. Yeah, that's powerful. Migration treaty? Yeah, I don't think so. We are Space happy budding up attack. with them, but I don't think we want Station under attack. them migrating into the Favarian Republic. And I, more Space importantly, I don't lost. think I want our citizens migrating away from our empire into theirs. 
Especially because we have stuff like this going on where we completely forget about unemployment and our unemployed pops might be tempted to migrate out of the empire where they can find work. <coughs> Hidden worlds. Records on board the station reveal the former inhabitants were deeply religious and had no contact with the outside world, which they feared and despised. Every aspect of their lives was governed by an omniscient oracle who scryed their destinies at birth. Divine, in de uh, divine will decided everything from their choice of partner and occupation to the minutiae of their daily lives, uh, leaving them little in terms of individual freedom. Most were afraid to diverge from their destined paths as all who did perished. Most were afraid to diverge from their destined paths as all who did perish under mysterious circumstances. Kind of seems like the giver. I remember reading that in middle school. Curious. Um, a utopia gone wrong. Ship build speed plus 25%? Sure. All right. After we win this war, let's um, update our fleets. Seeing these fleet size, these fleet numbers, is a little bit scary, actually. Blocker cleared. Um, it definitely seems like uh, we're really going to want to update our fleets real soon. How are we doing on technology? Spaceport lost. Spaceport lost? Oh, okay. They're taking these. We'll take them back. That's not too bad. Okay, we're moving in our fleets. Great. Fantastic. What about these? Okay. How are our fleets going? They're getting there. We can probably bump this up to fast Spaceport speed. Lost. No need to sit around at normal speed waiting for something to happen. Hostile station. Alright, leader level up. This is governing Korim. We can give pop growth speed as a counselor. Infiltration speed, operation cost. All of these are counselor traits. All of which I'd probably take the pop go speed if this person ever ends up on the council. Which is an if. Special project complete. Okay, our flagship has been upgraded. What are the stats of our new flagship? 12.5k? That's really fallen off in competitiveness compared to the rest of our um, the rest of our fleet. This does have cloaking though. That is interesting to know. And it has a jump drive. Wow. How do I use the jump drive? It's been a while. I think I've only done this once or twice. Initiate jump. Wow, let's do it. Council agenda ready. Wow. Can we initiate a jump again? Uh, it needs 200 days to recharge and we take a penalty while it's recharging minus 50 damage and minus 50% speed Interesting. Well, we can move our um, flagship up this way. All right. We got another plus 25% on our psionic um, tele Telepathy skills um, I think we can take infinite opportunities. I like this extra happiness. Hostile fleet detected. Spaceport under attack. All right, Hidden Worlds, the archaeological team that has made an unexpected discovery. Embedded within the station walls is a hidden surveillance system that seems to have been feeding visual and auditory information to a single point somewhere within the station's core. Someone was monitoring the disciples at all times, even in their most private moments. Yeah, that sounds awful. In some places, the equipment has been torn out or even sabotaged. Closer to the central hub are signs of violence and disruption. It seems as though at some point the inhabitants discovered they were being monitored. Wow, sounds like they had a little bit of a revolution on their hands. 
Spaceport lost. All right, here we go. We're moving the, the heavy guns in. Engaged. Let's actually claim this system back, Benus. Hostile station engaged. In the meantime, let's move our construction ship here to build a starbase outpost. Yes. Station under attack. I think we will move our science ship as well. Where is our science ship? Our science ship is moved all the way over here. I like to move our science ship back. I want to start surveying some of these systems. Yeah. And we can move in our army to Fear Mathios. Yes. Okay, let's take the Xeris station. And we can probably fight their fleet Spaceport head on. 14.3k. Alright. Our scientist who is currently excavating the archaeological site, we can give them a counselor trait because definitely don't need survey speed plus 10%. They're not doing any surveying. Council agenda available. All right, fantastic. We can upgrade the building on Laval Core. Sure. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, let's actually slow this down and let's have some fun watching this battle unfold. It's really difficult to tell who's who in these battles though. As cool as it is watching them, it just looks like a giant messy swarm of nothing. How are we doing on this battle actually? Looks like we're doing dealing much more damage to them than they are to us. We still have all 10 of our cruisers, all 15 of our destroyers, and we've lost the corvette. Did our other fleet arrive as well? Yeah, let's get this um, other fleet as well to join in the fun. There we go. Now they're vastly outnumbered. We can sell a whole bunch of food. We have so many resources, we don't know what to do with them all. Research complete. All right, let's take this station and let's see, what are the defenses on Golden Flower like? Defense Army is 168. Let's take one of these fleets and let's bombard the planet a little bit. That is one, two, three, four defense armies. I mean, we can probably handle four defense ar armies Hostile without any bombarding engaged. help. Yeah, let's just do it. We might take a couple casualties, but we can always re-up our army. It's not too big of a deal. All right. Now, I want to know where our system of hyper relays extends to. So, I wish there was an easy way to see this. Hyper relay. Okay, so I think the hyper relay extends from. Yes, this is the path of our hyper relay. I think we should build one in Toyubos. Shashamar and Lytherin. I think this will be a good use of some of our resources. Some of our resources. We basically want really, um, really easy mobility in the throughout the empire. I hope our enemies won't be able to use our hyper relay systems against us. I guess that remains to be seen. Construction complete. All right. We finish our engineering research. We can get impulse thrusters or citadels. Hmm. We can get orbitals too. I've never experimented with orbital rings. That might be fun. But first of all, I think I want impulse thrusters. I love speed and evasion. I think those are some of the most important traits we have uh, on a ship. All right. Yeah, we're, we're decimating their army. They never stood a chance. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, can we end this war? Mm -hmm. 
I thought we just invaded this planet. Do we invade future instead? Where did our army go? The army is on Golden Flower. Oh. There's a second planet. Future. That we need to... Go ahead and conquer. Okay, they have zero garrison though. So that's going to be real easy. Meanwhile, let's take our fleet. And um, let's reclaim all these systems. Okay, this war should be over soon. Planetary invasion begun. Um, did we get our scientists back? Let's go ahead and let's survey this system. Let's survey this system. Let's survey this system. Did they take Stevens? Okay, great. Let's move our fleets back. So we'll move one fleet into Ragunoth. We'll move our other fleet probably into Yamathir. And um, our MSI warship. Let's do another of these jumps. That was fun. Okay, we can jump to Kazan. Okay, nice. Now we can uh, just make our way back to Fevnor. Fun. Fun times. Um, okay, so here's what I wanted to see. If I go to offer trade deal and transfer systems, I don't think I can transfer any systems that are not adjacent. So I think we have to give up at least one of our L gates to them. Um, we have to give up this one so that we can transfer these systems to them as well. So be it. So be it. We will do it because I really don't want to. I don't want to deal with these rebellions and these planets at all anymore. So let's offer trade deal, transfer system. Um, we'll go ahead and transfer the singularity. I wish there was a better option to transfer systems. All right, let's see what's going on here. We have traced the wearing. The wiring to a temple complex devoted to the worship of the oracle and her clergy in the station's central node. But in the oracle's chambers, instead of a divine entity, resides an enormous AI nexus of the oracle brand. Wires extend from its core like a nervous system throughout the entire station. Wow. It's an AI that's behind it all. Secret communications between the inhabitants reveal there was a failed attempt at storming the temple and deactivating the nexus. It seems likely that society collapsed when it became known that their lives were not governed by divine will, but by a prof prophetic computer. Restarting the Nexus will require extensive repairs. Um, all right, and I realize the time is running a little long. Um, I'm sorry about that. I totally just lost track of the time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, next episode, we will continue claiming these systems and transferring it over to our new vassals we might start looking into the l gates and we might uh revamp our fleets and prepare for war with the mythful obliterators or maybe even the alliance of hardshell harbors um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time